Huh. Unlocking a lot more grinding spots, I suppose. Okay. So, conclusive battle for section three. I have to take Achilles with me, so may as well see what he can do. But let's quickly swap out Mordred for Karna. There we go. That looks like Sparky has got an animation update too. Alright, what do you got, Achilles? Take out Atalante first. Get blocked. <laughs> Section 4, Confrontation, Dual Swords and Cavalry. Got him! Sorry, Adelante. Man, can't say exactly what it is, but something about this really bothers me. Agreed, but at least while we're fighting them, it was clear that they were enemies. And since it wasn't possible to talk with them, fighting was the only choice we had. Still, don't you think it's strange? Normally, no one can so much as scratch me unless I've got divine, unless they've got divine blood. Those guys practically beat me black and blue there. Yes, I see what you mean. It's possible uh, that there's more to Atalante and Spartacus's legend than we know. But there's absolutely no way Frankenstein could secretly have divine blood. Her origin is too modern, and the circumstances of her creation rule it out entirely. Maybe so, but I still, I can still feel the spikes from that mace of hers when she smacked me with the thing. That would have caved. In, that would have caved in anyone else's rib cage. Are you still alive, Achilles? Last I checked. How about you, teacher? Yes, I am, as you can see. Though I've, I've considerably worse for wear. I'm afraid that was all my golems could do just to hold back one of the enemy servants. Are you okay, mommy? What about you, Jack? Are you hurt? Hmm. We think we're hurt a lot, but uh, yeah, we're really hurt a lot. But we're okay. Uh, we made fog and used it to get away. I'm glad to see you're all still alive. We don't think we're gonna... We don't think we're all alive, Mr. Custodian. Oh, Shakespeare died? What do you mean? Yes, that's right. We need to hurry back to the fortress. You see, we actually faced eight servants. And somehow those servants included both Jack and Avisibron. That was certainly a surprise. It was odd, I must admit, to be fighting a stronger version of myself. Curiously, Shakespeare is nowhere to be seen. Oh no, you don't mean... I'm afraid I do. They may have decided to divide and conquer, just like we. Just like we have. Then Caster of Red may be gone uh, uh, to fight Shakespeare?
I thought I was a goner. You're still alive? Ha ha ha, welcome back. I'm thrilled to see that you're all safe. But not as much as I am to be safe. I say, is something wrong? You all seem quite disappointed. Don't tell me you were hoping I was dead. No, no, nothing like that. Ha <laughs> BD Shakespeare. Of course, uh, we're all, all relieved to see that you're safe. But, Mr. Chiron, didn't you say that we would have to redo all the Fortress defense if he died? I also recall you saying that we would need to keep uh, the Master safe, and now that the enemy is taking us by surprise. Ha <laughs> ha It was only in a hypothetical sense, I assure you. Well, if the truth, if the truth must out, and we all know it must, I was quite sure that I breathed my last when I came under attack. Thank goodness I'm so weak. Then, uh, how do we know you're the real Shakespeare? Oh dear, <laughs> uh, not this trope. You think that uh, I've been switched out for my evil doppelganger, do you? Hmm, then again, he was me in every sense, a perfect facsimile, uh, so I may not be altogether credible here. That is, aside from the fact that he never said a word and was shrouded in a most ominous aura. Still, were I want to suggest I might become a more complete version of myself by defeating myself, I could hardly gainsay them. Uh oh, I seem to have talked myself into a corner. Oh, word, thy, slip, thy slippery turns indeed. Oh, world, thy slippery turns. Dismember, dismember. A child fairly radiates excitement. Well, even if that does turn out to be the case, I see no great cause for concern. After all, if our assumptions are correct, the servants we'd feel last night should soon uh, come to our side. Yes, that's true. Very well, then. Shakespeare, please remain close to me until the new servants arrive. One question, Professor. What fate might I meet should I decline to do so? I hope it does not come to that. Transient versions of him, though you may be, it will still pay me to fill the world's greatest writer full of, full of arrows. Heavens, you're quite serious, aren't you? Understood. Alright, and now we just have to wait for the resummoning. Uh, does this mean that things are going well? I'm not so sure. I have a sense that matters are progressing according to the enemy's plan. What about you, Sir Sieg? Yes, I agree. I feel like your enemy is going to come at us even harder, even though uh, enough to negate our newfound advantage. Not to mention that it seems that all their servants have gained divinity somehow. Those other versions of us are really tough, and if they're stronger next time, we may not, might not be able to beat them. Even so, our job hasn't changed. Sir Gabriel's right. No matter what they may come at us with, the, uh, that is the only viable strategy we have. We will just have to have faith that our opponent's strength is not without limit. Very well then. Sir Gabriel? No. On second thought, perhaps I should address you as... Our Master. We will be continuing... We will be counting on you again once the next battle arrives. Ryder, it was fine with me. Once I had fallen, I wouldn't need to spread my wings and fly any longer. Captured. A hero of Greek mythology, provider of the wind, retainer to Artemis, and the hero of the Argonauts, hunter of the Caledonian boar, noble beast. Atalante. It'll take more than cutting off my legs to stop me. Captured. Giant of men who shattered the shackles of oppression, smiling rebellion who lay waste all around him, indomitable monster of the Colosseum, Spartacus. Come with me. Captured. Doctor Frankenstein's greatest legacy. Girl revived with lightning, patchwork body, doll with the heart of fury. Frankenstein. Establishing all three servant spirit origins. This is not the end. I will not let it end. I'll never let it end. I brought you something to eat. It seems like there's more. It seems like there's more food now than last time. Oh yes, I thought we might eat together. I'm assuming you don't mind, of course. Good. I'm glad. All right, shall we? I hope it tastes okay. I can't tell myself. It's delicious. Wait, you can't taste anything? I'm glad to hear that. When the greater girl first came into my possession, I never thought uh, one day I'd use my power as a custodian for something as simple as cooking. I never actually cooked before, you see. Chiron lo uh, looks like he knows his way around the kitchen, but he's got plenty of other things to worry about. I see, I see. Shadow Border, a world of white nothingness, as far as the eye can see. Sounds like you have more than your share of troubles in your world, too. Don't worry, though. I promise you'll be fine. 
Whatever happens here, I will use my power as the Greater Gross Custodian to send you home. You have my word on that. So please, just think of this as an unusually long dream. If things take a turn for the worse, uh, all you have to do is wake up. Thank you. Don't thank me. I'm the one who dragged you into all this, after all. But never mind that. I'd love to hear more about your world. I'm especially interested in what you were like before you became a master. You know, come to think of it... Huh? You don't like to talk... You don't talk like you do when you're a dragon. Oh, that? Well... Nobody in my world had ever summoned a master before, so... I gave it some thought and figured that I should at least try to act appropriate in that form, I suppose. In hindsight, I guess I might have sounded kind of silly, though. I mean, all that faux old English and such. Uh, what was I thinking? It's embarrassing. Please, just do me a favor and forget all that. What you doing there, Fran? Ah! Somebody's attacking me in the courtyard. Let's go! It looks like she's trying to tell you that those are her flowers. I think she wants you to get off the flowers. I, uh, I see. I'm impressed you understood her. Nonetheless, the dragon is my real body. I'm afraid I can't move it right now. Uh, you can, um, just shove me into a corner if you want. I'm afraid that's the best I can offer. Sorry. Ah! Uh. Hmm, so that means... Yes, it was seen that this dragon is an oppressor. No, 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 no oppressors here. No oppressors here. Oppressor, not an oppressor. Hmm, that is a difficult question. After all, I came to this land to fight, to overthrow my enemies. So would not, uh, so would not follow that the dragon is a symbol of the oppressors here? Uh, he's not an oppressor? Very well, then I shall wait. The oppressors are sure to come, and when they do, that's when I shall act and my songs of triumph ring forth. In the meantime, I will wait here, in this flower garden. Good night, sweet rebellion. Huh? <laughs> there, there. Easy now, Fran. Hey! <sighs> hmm, so they're both falling asleep, huh? Oh well. Uh, they should wake up once night falls. Anyways, seem since they've both been summoned, then she must have been as well. Achilles, was it? Do I have something on my face? Are you the same Atalante my old man told me about? Ah, I see. So you're Peleus' son. I remember beating him in a wrestling match once. That was a good match. Atalante, I'm sorry to impose, but would you help me build the trap for tonight? Your skills as a hunter is likely to make you far better at placing a trap in the forest than I. Very well. I must ask, though, why was I resummoned? Actually, uh, was I even properly summoned to begin with? If we're inside the Greater Grail now, then what am I supposed to do? I believe we are meant to fight in order to keep the Greater Grail safe, even if we are indeed enemies in the original war. Well, that's no matter. I've had plenty of other former enemies become allies before. You and I were both red, so I guess that means we were always allies. So, the immortal Achilles is my ally now, huh? Usually, I would find that rather encouraging. But if all our opponents have divinity, that does not offer much of an advantage. Perhaps, but even without his invincibility, he's far more powerful than any of them. Indeed, it is quite fortunate that Achilles is not on their side. Especially since we are the since we are the only ones on our side with divine blood at the moment. I must say, it's an odd feeling knowing that a copy of myself fights for our enemy. Achilles, be sure that you do not drag my corpse around the fortress. I'm not gonna do that. If I was ever gonna do something like that, then it'd be as a berserker. <laughs> I was just kidding. Since I'm based on the data from before the Great Holy Grail War began, my spirit origin has no recollection of this. But I imagine that we must have exchanged some similar quips before, given that we're both part of the Red Camp. Yeah, we probably did. You know, I was hoping to meet you again someday. My old man used to talk about you all the time. Stop that, it's embarrassing. Ah, uh, youth is such a splendid thing. I do not believe servants are either truly old or young. Hmm. Is something wrong? No, there's just something nagging me about Shakespeare. 
Do you find some evidence that he is an imposter? No, nothing like that. What troubles me is that the enemy version of him decided to come to the fortress. If it had been any other servant, we might have faced eradication. Hmm, I see. In that case, I'll speak to Master and see if we can stay one step ahead. Alright, let's go! Good luck! May fortune smile on you all! I doubt you'll need us on the front lines anymore, so I'll stay here and await your return. Along with my golems, of course. Okay, Mommy, let's go! Atalante, we're counting on you! Right. To the twin gods I offer this. Phoebus Catastrophe! A noble phantasm! That must be Ryder, Astolfo's noble phantasm. His hippogriff can pass through any kind of attack. In that case, we'll just continue to attack until it rematerializes. Come, Chiron! Right. Oh, right there with you. There you are, oppressors. So you decided to take cover in the night and strike us from the shadows, have you? That will not protect you from the destruction of my love. Good morning, Rebellion! Well, you certainly got greetings covered. I love the smell of rebellion in the morning. Alright, let's split them up like we always have. Huh? This... This is my bounded field. So they did learn how to separate us. Sir Sieg, Master! It seems Chiron was right about the enemy appearing within the fortress. Assassin, I mean Jack the Ripper. Yes, yes, we're here, Mr. Custodian. What is it? Can you tell me where the enemies you just saw looked like? Okay, let's see. There were two sabers with heavy armor, and a lancer who seemed kind of girly. Hmm, maybe he was actually a rider? If he was short, then he uh, could have been either of the two... He could have been either of the two lancers. He must have been the rider of black. I see. Oh, and we saw a few things that looked like shadow servants. We were there too, so we think that they're probably leftovers from last time or something? How strong were they? Not strong at all. They were easy. We can dismember all of them for you in no time. Alright, then we can take out the enemies that make their way here and continue to protect the casters. Since we expected something like this might happen, we uh, shouldn't have... Ha we shouldn't have anything to worry about. Gabriel, go ahead and tell us what to do. And We're counting on you, Mommy. Okay, let time to go ripping. Ooh, way over there. Lots of grinding spots now. Okay. Alright. So next is Section 4, Conclusive Battle Against Some Sabers. Alright, but we'll pick this one up next time. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Blade Cross EXE, part of Flash of Blades Productions with Fake Grand Order. Tune in next time when we continue with the Fate Apocrypha event. Peace out.